it is cold. It's like 29 degrees. I wish it were 90 degrees, but it isn't any longer. Happy New Year, it's January. And once in a while, you know, you find footage that you completely forgot about. And in this case, I did this in July and it was the first time that the students of the Community Boating Center in New Bedford were able to sail again since the lockdown began in March of last year. Man, I do wish it was July once again because my hands are freezing. So let me take you back to July. Yep, they went. All right, so I'm at the Community Boating Center in New Bedford, and there's a lot of sails. The students are ready to go sailing, and let's see what I can come up with. The first thing that hits you is the white sails. By using a longer lens, I was hoping to create images that are ultra clean, framed by those white sails. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the subjects to be in the right spots. I like being up close and personal to bring the viewer into the situation I see before me. Work the scene, look at different angles, see what's happening. But don't get stuck by only what you see in your viewfinder. Sometimes keeping both eyes open is the way to be aware of everything happening outside and be ready for that moment. I'm always looking for things in motion. And look, look how much stuff is happening. Thousands of potential photographs waiting to be made. Don't worry about those. Only worry about the ones that you can capture. I didn't feel like getting wet, but you know something? No problem. Timberland Earthkeeper boots will uh, keep me from getting too soaked. Sometimes you just gotta get out there if you wanna grab the moment. I always like to look for different vantage points. Maybe go up on that pier over there. Shoot with a longer lens across all these boats. Let's check that out and see how that works. Compress the space with a longer lens. See if that looks good. We all have our favorite lenses. In my case, it's the 1635. But it's imperative that you bring back images from multiple focal lengths. Jumping on a boat is definitely my idea of fun, but this type of access only comes of years of developing relationships. Of course, as journalists, we want to be where things are happening, but you can only do that with access. Standing on a boat might not be the best of ideas, but by standing I have greater ability to rotate and potentially photograph a fleeting moment that without this mobility I could not have grabbed. The key is not to expect 
anything. Don't go in looking for a specific photo. If you do, all you end up doing is missing all of the other moments that actually tell the story of what is happening in front of you. Stay motivated, but most importantly, sometimes just have fun. <laughs>